Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a giant fidget review. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, we have Paw Pits. So first of all, we have the OG. It's actually supposed to be a game, not a sensory toy. And it's much different from these rip-off Paw Pits, like the square one. The pops are just really good. Let me show you. And I know you hear a lot of poppets have bad sides to them, but the original really doesn't. For example, if you're popping it like on a table, the bad side is just like half as good as the good side. So I would rate the original poppet a definite 10 out of 10 because it's amazing and it's really satisfying to play with. Moving on to the second kind, we have a square poppet. This one is really good. There are a lot more bubbles to pop than um, the circle one, and it's really nice. This one's actually not the real Poppet brand. This is a ripoff, but it's so, so, so amazing, just like the original one. Let me show you. So that was a square poppet. I don't really get why people think they're so bad. Like, they're amazing. They're just as good as the circle poppet, but I mean, I don't know why. I would rate this another 10 out of 10 because there's more bubbles to pop and it's just an amazing fidget in general. So go buy one now. Last but not least for the poppets, we have this teeny tiny poppet. It's really cute and they're such good colors. Um, I'm pretty sure you can like hook it to something like a backpack. I don't really know and it makes such good bubble pops. Here, let me show you. They're so tiny, oh my gosh. Such amazing pops, but like it is, it is kind of small and the bad side is like a regular pop it. Um, I would say 9.5 because, well, I mean, of course it's a small poppet, so there's barely any bubbles, but like, if there were more bubbles, but smaller, how about that? <laughs> um, well anyways, I rate this a 9.5 out of 10 because it's just really cute and really satisfying and I love it. Yay! Next up, we have Neato's! These are my favorite kinds of stress balls and they are amazing. And I'm also gonna be talking about the gumball. It's just like a Neato and it's made from the same company, but if I can find a difference, I'll tell you. So, Neatos. They're really great fidget toys, especially for ASMR because they are slightly underfilled, but purposely, here they are. really great stress balls and yeah they're just amazing and I love them I think I would rate the Neatos a 9 out of 10 because well they're just they're amazing and like they're not slow rise or anything they just pop back right away so I would say a 9 cuz they're amazing and they are amazing and they are amazing there Next we have the gumball, which as I said earlier is just like a Neato, but here's the difference. First of all, it is less expensive than the Neato, and it's slightly more filled than the Neato. It's one of the best stress balls in my opinion. I really like Neatos too, and I would say a 9 out of 10 because, well it's amazing. I mean, the color is brighter than a regular pink Neato, and I don't know, I just love it, so. Next, we have DNA balls! I have three of them and I got them for my birthday, so let's review them! I really love DNA balls. They're so different from Neato's and they are great sensory fidget toys. If you have more than one, squeezing them together is really, really, really satisfying. And if you do, then I really recommend trying that because it just feels amazing and yeah. When they're together, they're kind of sticky like globules, but not as much. And I would rate these 
also a 9 out of 10 because, well, yeah. Moving on to dimples and simple dimples. Simple nipples are personally one of my favorite fidget toys. They're amazing. Oh my gosh. You can pop them for hours and it's just really satisfying to pop. You can also make ASMR out of them. Listen. And here's a threesy one. Sadly, I don't have any dimples, dimple digits, or dimple duos, but I do have simple dimples. So I would rate the simple dimple, I think, a... Well, I don't really know. I just can't rank this because it's amazing and compared to others, well, it's just so different from the other ones. So I don't really have a rank for this. But if I had to choose, it would probably be a 9.5 out of 10. And the triple dimple. Oh my gosh, it's amazing! There's three. This one's actually a ripoff, but it's still just as good because I felt a real simple dimple before, and this is just as good. It is so satisfying to pop, but it's a bit hard to hold in your hands and twist around like this. So... I'm not quite sure. I think I'll give it, since it has really good pops, I think probably a, um, a 9 out of 10 because it's amazing pops, but it's just, my hands are too small. <laughs> and poosh! Moving on to slime. The first type is Elmer Slime! Woohoo! I personally love Elmer Slime. It's amazing and it's hardly, oop. <laughs> it's hardly ever sticky and the colors are just amazing. This one is called Unicorn Fluffy and I definitely recommend it. It's super soft and it's kind of like a DIY because it comes with the blue slime. Then you add the unicorn charms. It's in a pack of three and that entire pack, it's just amazing. Since it's like not too stretchy but it smells so good and, well, it's just a really great slime in general. I would rate Elmer Slime probably a 9 out of 10. Most definitely. Moving on to Play-Doh Slime. <laughs> Play-Doh Slime is definitely the best out of these three slimes I have so far. Well, I have more, but these are the ones I like to review. This is called Play-Doh Super Slime Cloud, and it's actually a really, really fluffy butter slime. Um, this slime is kind of getting hard because I loved it so much, and I play with it, like, a lot, and it's gotten a lot of air into it, but it used to have great pokes, and usually butter slime does not have great pokes at all. So I was really surprised with Play-Doh Slime. I really like it, and this one... Ah... <sighs> This one doesn't smell terrible like Play-Doh, but it doesn't exactly smell great, but it's a really good slime. Oops, I almost got that on my jacket. This is probably one of the best slimes if you plan on putting it in a stress ball and making like, some kind of slime stress ball. And I would rate this a 10 out of 10. Go buy Play-Doh slime, like now. It's amazing. Next is Slimy Sand. I think I got this one for Easter, and I don't know if you can really find the specific kind, but if if you have kinetic sand and slime, I think you should definitely mix it, because this is basically a mix of kinetic sand and slime, and it's awesome. So it's like a cloud slime, but kinetic sand. So I'm kind of confused. It's sandy, but it's slimy, but it's like kinetic sand. But not really. And it's a cloud slime, but not really. I'm super confused with the slime, but I love it. It doesn't ever get hard like a cloud slime. It just stays soft and you can like, just squeeze it in your hands. It's awesome. But the only downside to the slime is that whenever you play with it, like if you get it all over your hands, your hands kind of get a bit dusty, but don't worry, it's not blue dust. It's all good. Oh. <laughs> if I had to say kinetic sand um, slime in general and this slime would probably be a solid 8 out of 10 because uh, amazing texture, I don't know, it's amazing. 
Now we have marble meshes. They're actually called marble in mesh, but marble mesh is just shorter. I really like marble marble meshes. They're just amazing fidgets and there's so many different ways you can play with them. Like this, you can also do this, this. And they're really satisfying to just feel because they're great textured fidgets. And I think they're kind of essentially fidgets too. And they're pretty small, so they're great for school. But I haven't really taken one to school because it could get taken away, but I would say they're pretty good for doing schoolwork too. So for Marvel and Meshes, I would probably rate these an 8 out of 10 because I don't really use these a lot, but they're really, really good fidgets. So yeah, 8 out of 10. Now we have monkey noodles. <laughs> I don't really get the hype about monkey noodles. Like, in my opinion, they're just not that fun. And yeah, I mean, doing a bunch at a time like this is pretty fun. But if you just have one or two monkey noodles, it's not as fun. And I just don't really get how you're supposed to play with these. They're great slingshots though. <laughs> I know a lot of people like monkey noodles, but I just personally don't really see how they're a fidget, and I don't really like them that much, but if you have a bunch in your hand, they're really satisfying. So probably a 6 out of 10, because, I mean, it's only good if you have a bunch. Now we're going to do some pretty common fidgets, starting with... Bike chain! I have two of them, but um, I seem to have lost my black one, so... This is my orangish reddish one. And I really, really like bike chains. Uh, I, don't usually, I don't usually use them as much as I do now, but they're still really fun to play with when I do use them. Two things that are kind of bad about it though is that they get tangled easily like this, and it's not always easy to get them out of the tangle. And also, it's, well, if you don't know how to play with it, then yeah, it's probably not the best fidget toy, but once you learn how to play with it like this, it's a pretty good fidget toy, and I, well, I personally think it would be a 10 out of 10. This is an amazing fidget toy, and it's really small. It's great for school, and yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Now, we have the adorable, most cutest, Peep Popper! <laughs> this is a really great fidget toy, but I personally don't like it that much. I use it sometimes while I'm doing my schoolwork, and it's a pretty good fidget toy, I would say. But after a while, your thumbs start to hurt. Your thumb starts to hurt when you're playing with it. And also, some of the rip-off pea poppers break really easily. And I've been playing with this a lot, and well, it hasn't broken. And I've had these, and I had this for about a month and a half now. Still hasn't broken, but I don't really like it too much. I prefer stress balls or slime, maybe mini needles, globbles, anything. I don't, I don't, I just don't really like this one that much. So I would probably have to rate it a seven out of ten because I've been using it recently and it's been helping me focus on my schoolwork. But, yeah, I just don't like it too much, so 7 out of 10. Speaking of common fidget toys, spiky balls! Ah! I lost one. Okay, so spiky balls are really great sensory fidgets, and, again, they're great for schoolwork and just, like, rubbing on them. It's really satisfying, and I really recommend small ones. Having a bunch together is really, really, really satisfying, just, like, squeezing them. Oop! And having them in your hands is really nice. Um, I don't really use it that much, but when I do, it's a really great toy. So I would probably rate Spiky Balls a mm, an 8.5 out of 10. I really like them, but I don't use them too much. Now we have Wacky Tracks. <laughs> I personally don't really know how to use this fidget, but it's really satisfying to do this with. And then like squeeze it, open it, squeeze it, 
open squeeze. I really like this, so I would rate it a 10 out of 10 because when I do use it, it's amazing and I just somehow figure out how to play with it. It's really great if, if your hands just like want to do this or something, like if you want to squeeze something. These are great because they move in all different kinds of ways and you don't always have to untangle them. So they're amazing. Next, we have water snakes. These are one of the best fidget toys ever in my opinion. I don't really think that many people have them because sometimes I watch fidget TikTok videos and I, ha I haven't really seen them in a while. And I really like this one because first of all, it was my first fidget. And second, it glows in the dark. The little glowy things. I really like this specific one because, well, first of all, it was my first fidget ever. And second, the stars are glow in the dark. <laughs> they're cool, they're cool, they're really... <gasps> oh God. Oh, well that's the end of it. Yeah, they're really cool and they don't really break easily. I've had this one for three months now and played with it like every day. So, and it just broke by the way, like all over the table. But I would rate these 10 out of 10. By the way, dude, I know I mentioned this before, but they don't break easily, trust me. Oh, no. Ugh, I stepped in the water juice. Anyways, next is magnet rings. Woohoo! These are so, so, so underrated. I don't know why people think these are so bad. So, a lot of people don't really know how to play with them, but I'll show you, I guess. So, you can either twist them like this. You can just click them. It's really satisfying to click them like that. You can also press in the you can also press in the middle of them. That's really weird, but it's satisfying. Also, something I really like to do with these magnet rings is just go like this. It's so 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 hypnotizing for me. Oh my gosh. Um but these I don't use too much anymore and I used to a lot I still really like these though. I feel like these deserve a nine out of 10. Most of these fidgets are nine out of 10. We're coming up on the last fidgets. I don't really get how water timers are fidgets, but they are really satisfying to look at. I mean, I guess they're really good for schoolwork if you're doing, if you're doing schoolwork. They're really satisfying to watch and they, I guess they help me focus. I don't know if they would help you guys focus though. They are really mesmerizing and yeah, I, don't like, I just like them, but I don't really get how they're a fidget, so in general, I would just rate this um, probably 10 out of 10, but as a fidget, you can't really do anything with it besides like flip it, so I guess probably I would rate this a 4 out of 10 because I don't like it as a fidget. Second to last. We have globbles! Mine are really dirty though. <laughs> globbles, well, they're like really underfilled, sticky mini needos. And they're really cute. They stick together even if, um, well, they kind of lost their stick because mine got really dusty fast. I lost one of them, which was my orange one, but these two are really good and. Well, I don't really use these that much, but they would be really good for school too. Um, so I think I would rate these a 7.5 out of 10, because they're just pretty good fidgets. Last, but probably least in the fidget area, fidget spinners. These are not great fidgets, but they're really good to like help help you focus on schoolwork, I think. In my opinion, like I use them sometimes for that purpose. And they're really cool to balance, and I really like them, but they're not really good fidgets. Also, if they're metal ones, which you, they usually are, they kind of hurt your fingers after spinning them for a while. Ow, God. So yeah. <laughs> As a fidget, I would rate this a, um, a 5 out of 10, actually. But as a regular fidget spinner, well, fidget spinner, but just as a fidget spinner in general, oops, I dropped that, I would rate it probably a 10 out of 10, because 
I really like that one. And I have too many fidget spinners. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming to my review. Bye! Like and subscribe, please. See ya.